what's up guys uh, thank you very much for being an electrical i really appreciate that uh this is a magnetic door sensor okay uh i want us to see how it works and how you can uh use it okay so first of all uh where are you going to use this this is a magnetic door sensor so meaning uh it will be installed on your door uh frame such that when your door uh is opened or closed a signal can be sent it depends on how you how you want to handle signal okay so if for instance on your gate okay if you install this device because it's a magnetic sensor okay so it means that uh if you configure it uh or if you set an alarm whereby if this device go apart uh and door open alarm can be generated okay all an alarm i, I mean all an a siren can go off okay or a light can be switched on all right now this sensor here this is a magnet right here and then you have the contact here okay and then the contact here so i'm going to show you how we can uh, use uh, this device so let us see so usually there will be uh, different types of contacts in here but this could be anomaly closed or anomaly open or both so this has got two wires meaning that it can be either open or closed we will test and see but if it had three wires then it can play uh, both open and close it depends on how you configure it okay so we can see let us uh take our multimeter and we put in continuity okay So it means that this is an open uh, circuit eh? or an open contact. So if I bring uh, the magnet here, so we get a complete circuit. Okay. Magnet. So that's how uh, you, you, you can check uh, the contact. So, uh, usually, because you have a wire here, this will go on your stationary part. That means the door frame. And then this will be on the moving part, which means a door. But in the scenarios uh, where you have got, in the scenarios where you have got uh, two doors moving, so that means you have no choice but uh, both of them uh installing them on the door but it should have uh, a flexible conduit like this so this one you can both put it on a moving uh, a moving door or a stationary part because it has got this so even if it's uh, it's put on a door you see it can move very well without damaging the wires okay all right so we can see how uh, this device can energize uh, your contactor, okay? So let's see how uh, you can play with this into uh, your circuit, okay? So we have got a relay uh, circuit here, okay? So this is a relay. Uh, so this relay, it's in off position. So if I plug this relay in, You see the relay is on okay the relay is on so what we do we want to see how we can control this with the relay because we've already seen that 
uh, we can control the contact with uh, this magnet. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to use uh, the neutral. Now, this is the neutral part, okay? So you see, what I'll do is I'll get, I'll feed this neutral with here on A2 of uh, the relay. And then, I connect our neutral right here, okay? So that means that uh, before the the neutral was coming in directly to our relay base, but now it has to go through uh, this sensor here, okay? So if I put in <coughs> our relay, it's not on, okay? So if I bring around this, it energizes, okay? So you see what I was uh, saying previously, if you want to control a light circuit, if you want to control a fan, if there's anything you want to control by moving this, then uh, this is uh, the sensor uh, to go. So, for instance, if you had a light, uh, you wanted to open a room and a light goes on, so definitely you could use something like this, okay? You put it on your door, so the moment you open, the, uh, the light will, will, will go on, and when you shut the door, the light will go off, okay? So basically, that's how this kind of circuit works. Okay, when you're going to use uh this sensor here with the timer there's something that you have to to note okay for instance if you wanted this timer to be controlled by this i want you to see this first before we can explain so so i'm going to give uh a one here and uh, a two right here So let us energize this and see. So I want to see how this happens. So you see, uh, my timer will be energized. So you see, it's something I want you to note. Eh? So with the timer, I can move away uh, the bar and the timer will not go on off. Okay. So, there is some residue magnetism that remains here, all right? This doesn't mean that uh, maybe it's faulty, no. There is residue magnetism that will stay here for quite some time. Eventually, it will release. But so, if you, if you have this one to control your timer uh, directly, it will mess up uh, your circuit, all right? So, that's the reason why you have to use... The relay okay so it can remain like that okay so we switch off again we switch on we switch off again we switch on you see has gone on before me even doing anything so that's why we have uh, to use a relay and I will show you that also quickly Okay, so we just need to get a wire here and then uh... So let's see how it can work with the relay first 
So you see, I will not have uh, that kind of uh, residue holding back this, holding back the relay. So I will use the relay now to supply uh, the timer in case I need this timer to delay something to come on. Okay. So uh, we have used here number, we have used number one here. So if I check, uh, number one is open to three, so I will just get number three here. So let's see how that goes. So just hook. really here and now we can have okay so you see that so there will be no that residue so uh, this will clear that residue here and then your timer will work perfectly okay Yeah, so you get a picture. So if you need to use uh, to control uh, maybe lights or to give you an alarm, okay, in, uh, maybe trying to to get aware if there, there has been an intrusion or you're monitoring a, a certain room, uh, you know, to keep it closed or open, or you want to switch on a fan, you know, after the door has been opened so you've seen how you can you know manipulate your circuit there but the other main thing also we've learned about this it's that uh, residue uh, magnetism which will keep if you're using the timer only so if you use the timer only if you want to control the timer just control the timer only you'll find that problem that it may stuck in the own position and doesn't release even when you disconnect this so you'll have to use a relay because a relay coil is big it will just clear out those residues okay that's uh door magnet for you thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to like and share if you have any question about this feel free to put it in the comment section i'll come back and answer you okay thank you very much until next time i'm out